So in this video I'm just going to be demonstrating how easy it is to uh, connect a joystick, uh, much like this one, to uh, Mission Planner in order to control your micro air vehicle. So essentially what you have to do is you go on to actions over here, joystick, select your joystick. If, if you don't see it there, then try installing the, uh, the drivers. The T1600M actually works out of the box without drivers, but in order for it to work on here, you have to actually install the, the drivers from um, the Frostmaster website. Then you just assign the different channels for, uh, you know, you pitch your roll, whatever extra buttons you want to set up. Uh, you can actually make an auto detect and you just press the button or you just move the channel. Uh, once you've done that, you just uh, enable the use of the joystick. And yeah, now it's being controlled by the joystick. So. If I just demonstrate it here, I've got the drone uh, without any props on, so the vehicle is safe. And it's connected to the Mission Planner ground station over here on this laptop by a RFD 86A radio. So I'm going to force the vehicle to arm. Obviously it wouldn't be able to arm normally because there's I'm inside so there's no GPS signal. But you can force an arm through the action menu. So I force arm. So that was now spinning. And if I go to the joystick here, so press what? And as you can see, well, you won't be able to see, but you can hear that I'm actually controlling the speed of the motors through the joystick. And as you can see, I'm not even, I'm not touching the transmitter at all. It's entirely happening through the joystick. So yeah, this could be perhaps useful for a uh, more complex uh, ground station. For example, if you, especially for a fixed wing aircraft, if you're going to fly it, it with a uh, HOTAS setup, then that could be quite interesting. Uh, for now, I'm going to stick, stick with the uh, Tyrannus, just good. I mean, it's a really good transmitter, really easy to use, um, and carrying a joystick and throttle out into the field is a bit uh, of a hassle. But I could very much see how this could be quite useful for certain people with certain use cases. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this has been helpful.